Hey guys, it's Jeff and iOS 11.3 Beta 2 was released this morning to all developers. The build number for this beta will be 15E, 517A, and lowercase f. And it came in at around 3.1 gigabytes on my iPhone 10. I did have to download and install Beta 2 via iTunes as the update was not coming in over the air, but nevertheless, it's on my device now and fully functional. The release notes state that this update brings bug fixes and performance improvements. Let's check it out. Okay, so first thing is first, if you are using the iPod Touch, specifically the sixth generation model, support for iOS 11.3 Beta 2 will come to your devices soon, but no date has been given as to that support. Now moving on, and you might want to know about any possible new features that will come in Beta 2 in iOS 11.3. Well, there are two new things, and the first is found when opening up the App Store. There is now a brief description of the App Store and what you can find. There is also a privacy link down below where you can check out more on privacy policies related to the App Store. Other than that, everything looks quite standard within the App Store, and I'm not finding any new features or major changes in the UI. Moving on and we'll take a look at the battery menu inside the settings app. Here you will find a new battery health menu which is obviously in beta. Once you go into the menu you will really see the sort of beta look that it has because it's not fully functional yet. For those of you who want a short rundown of this menu that's really in beta, this menu will be displaying your battery health which will be the determining factor of if you need a battery replacement or not. Here you can see that there's more information that needs to be added and more functionality and we'll likely be seeing that in future betas so stay tuned for an update on this menu and any new features that surround it. Either than those two items there really doesn't seem to be any major new features. There is however a lot going on under the surface of beta 2 so you can check out the release notes for all of those changes. Beta 2 does however solve a lot of bugs found in beta 1 so let's check out exactly what has been fixed. Battery life on the iPhone 10 has been particularly awful, and so has the battery life on other devices as well. I can't really complain about this as we are on beta 1, but there is a significant decline in battery life on iOS 11.3 for those of you who are wondering if they should update their device to this beta. I haven't played around on beta 2 that much to really notice a change in battery life, but I will update you on battery life on iOS 11.3 beta 2. My recommendation for now is to kind of hold off if battery life is very important to you and wait for that update on battery life. Next up is the Wi-Fi bug, and Wi-Fi would go in and out yet still appear to be disconnected. Some users even stated that they could hold their hand over the Wi-Fi antenna and that alone would disable the internet functionality. While that's a bit of a far stretch, I can say that I also did have Wi-Fi issues and even a complete reset of connections did not do the trick. So this issue does seem to be fixed in iOS 11.3 beta 2. I haven't noticed any issues so far. If you are still experiencing issues, let me know in the comment section down below and hopefully that bug can be reported to Apple. Next up is visual voicemails, and a lot of users were having issues with their visual voicemail, as some voicemails wouldn't even show up, and just a lot of voicemails were not being able to be transcribed, despite there being very clear audio. I personally have noticed this to be a problem on my device, and while I can't really see a difference now, I do hope that is fixed in beta 2 when we get more voicemails coming in. We need to see transcription data be as exact as possible when there is clear audio. Now, as iMessages have been brought back to the iCloud, you'd expect there to be some issues, and while nothing is wrong with the actual feature of iCloud and iMessages working together, there is an issue within the iCloud storage menu where it displays the incorrect amount of storage that your iMessages is showing. You can see here it shows that I'm using storage, yet when you go into the menu, there is nothing under my conversations. This seems to be fixed in beta 2 and hopefully there won't be any more issues with iCloud storage and iMessages kind of functioning together to where they might have to delay this feature being released in iOS 11.3. The last bug that seems to be fixed on beta 2 was the bug where you cannot use reachability with the spotlight search. 
This didn't seem to be an issue before and is very limited to iOS 11.3 beta 1. So if you update to beta 2, you should find that issue is fixed. So guys, that's it for iOS 11.3 beta 2. Some new features in there and obviously a lot of bug fixes that are found in beta 2 that kind of fix the bugs that were found in previous iOS 11 versions and the ones found in iOS 11.3 beta 1. Hopefully we see battery performance increase as we continue on through the beta versions and hopefully we'll see some very good performance slash battery performance coming to our phones really soon. So thank you all for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and throw us a like on the video. Stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.